Hi, welcome back. Today I'm on the PC and I'm looking at Dragon Naturally Speaking 13. And I'm going to have a look at the transcription option. So if you use a phone for example, we can use a recorder, dictation recorder, record your audio and then have it transcribed into text. You can also use commands like punctuation, new line, new paragraph. So I'm going to show you how to set up a profile. Now we need to set up a profile separate from the dictation profile. So the first thing which you do is open up Dragon Naturally Speaking, go to the top and select profile because the chances are you've already created a profile for dictation do a left click and I want you to select new user profile once open I want you to select new and then click next so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a profile specifically for your dictation so I'm just going to call this as I've got the Olympus recorder and then click next once you've given it a name. Make sure you give it a name that represents be it if it's a phone you're using or a recorder. Select your region and also select your accent. Click advance but I would leave them default as it says there. Click next. Now originally when I set up Dragon Naturally Speaking I used the dictation profile and I used my Logitech USB headset. We can use Dragon Remote Microphone application, so that would be like using a phone or something external to dictate into it. So you could use, for example, your Samsung or iPhone, download a free app and then connect that and speak into that through your, through your wireless connection and then you can dictate into Dragon. But what I want to do today is select Digital Audio Recorder. So what this does, it creates a profile specific for that option. So it learns how you speak and the quality of your voice using that specific hardware. So it's always good to separate. So don't use Olympus Record, for example, for a handheld or smartphone. Make sure you separate them. It does make a big difference. Click Next. And then click Create. Now that's going to create a profile for me. Once it creates a profile for me, I need to do a bit of reading to train it. I need Dragon to analyse how it sounds from the recorder. So it can create a profile for me. Because obviously it will sound different from a headset. And Olympus Recorder will sound different to a phone smartphone. So click next. Now before I actually click next, have a look here. There's a tutorial option here you can click on. Shows you how to set it up through here if you need to as well. But I'm going to click next. And the first thing I need to do is get my recorder ready. Don't plug it in yet because what you can do is actually going to read some literature. So it picks up the recording on the actual recording device and then we can actually import that into Dragon Naturally Speaking. That would then create a profile specifically for that hardware. So, I want you to click next. Now, I want you to choose something to read. So, I'm going to select. So, you should read around five minutes. It says that at the top there. But the longer you read, the better the accuracy will be because it will create a profile specifically for that hardware. And that's what actually improves the accuracy. The longer you read, the better. If you do 10 minutes, even better because what Dragon will do is take the recording off the recorder, analyze it, and create a specific profile for that specific bit of hardware. So, that's why I said earlier about make sure you separate your headset to your recorder, to your smartphone or whatever device you're using to record because Dragon then adapts to that profile. So I'm going to read Alice Adventures in Wonderland so what you do is view the selection, get your recording device now I'm using the Olympus but you might be using your phone but make sure you set up, as I showed you before, if you're using a smartphone then use that selection profile at the beginning, if you're using Olympus then create a profile with that or recorder. Okay. So now I'm going to read this, and as I read this, then I'm going to take it off and show you how to import into Dragon to create a profile. So I'm not going to read it all. Now start recording. Alice Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. New line. Down the rabbit hole. New line. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank, comma, and of having nothing to do, colon. New line. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, comma, once you've done your recording, click close to return to previous screen. Make sure you've done at least five minutes. And then click next bottom right hand corner. Now if you can plug your recorder into your USB port, or you might have it on a Samsung, you might have it on an iPhone, you might have connected through the cloud, then just copy it down onto your desktop, wherever you want it on your PC, and then we can upload it into Dragon. So click next. So my still on a recorder, so I'm going to select browse to locate file. And I'm going to go down to my drive because I plugged it into a USB port. And mine is the DM670. So I'm now going to assess the folder I recorded in, which was folder E. Now I'm ready to open it up. So this is what Dragon's going to analyse and create a profile for, specifically for that hardware. When you're ready, click next. 
select the play button just to make sure it's the quick file you're going to upload make sure it is but now I'm going to click start training so I've taken that file on my recorder pointed the path where it is and now Dragon's going to actually analyse it and create a profile specifically for that Olympus recorder for me to into text for me so this might take up to 10 to 20 minutes depending on how long your file is so I'm going to click start training then I'll skip the training progress it's going along just to speed up the video tutorial Next you give them some options once that's finished, the analysing, where it can check your emails and pull out stuff from your email clients, which is email which is email addresses and web based emails and that's all you dictate picks up better. But I would for now just untick that and click next. I'd leave this on automatically improve accuracy as you can see here schedule for acoustics and also schedule for language model. You can select change schedules to when you actually want that to be done. I'd probably say weekly is OK or even maybe monthly, but I'll let you select what you want. Same goes for your language model, choose when you want that done. And it does actually improve it a lot, so it's definitely worth doing, but it does take quite a while to do. And it does use up some of your physical memory, so make sure you're not doing anything at the time with on your PC. Click next. You can choose what you want to do here, for example send information back to Dragon's company of how the program's running and various options. So I'm just going to put for the moment do not send my usage data and click next and click finish. And now your profile is created. Now if you go to the top, normally you'll get if you've created your own profile and you're using to dictate into your PC, this will turn red and you can click on it and start dictating. But as long as we haven't got a headset and we're not using the headset, we're using a recorder, you won't get that. So let me open it and go to your profile, left click, and select open user profiles. So now I've got two, I'm currently on my Olympus recorder, hence I can't turn the mic on because there is no mic to turn on. If I select my spuddy option, then it will load that profile, and then that will turn blue because that's how I set it up to start in sleep mode, and then I can use that profile, as you can see. But I'm going to go back, open user profile, and I've recorded something. So I'm actually going to use that recording with Alice Adventures in Wonderland that I use as when it was analysed by Dragon to see how well it transcribes that. So I'm going to open up Olympus Recorder. So that's the profile require, and you see at the top in a minute. It will come up with no option in the middle because there is no micro option for me to speak into. But what I need to do is come back to the top to it expands got various options go to tools and what you want to do is transcribe recording see I'm using a profile created it with the Olympus recorder left click transcribe recording now what do I want to transcribe into so if I open up a word document now it will transcribe straight into a word document or if I leave it to transcribe text into a dragon pad I'm going to open up a blank word document so whatever you open up it will then transcribe into but you have to make sure that you actually click into the application you want to transcribe into so you can place the cursor in your work if you need to. Bear in mind, if you do save it as a dragon pad, it saves as a Word document anyway. Just a little tip there, but I'm going to let me choose the window that I want to transcribe into. When I started doing it, I started saying open quote, close quote, new line, full stops and commas. I used my punctuation. So I'm going to leave it on dictation command plus, but I didn't use scratch that or resume that. Now scratch that, scratch is the last utterance you said command, and resume with, for example, say you said a sentence and halfway through you, you say to yourself, well half of that sentence is not quite right, I need to change that. You could say resume with from the word that you got wrong, carry on from there, and Dragon will dictate from there. So I'm going to leave it as it is and just click next. Now I need to find that file, and it's still on my Olympus recorder, so I'm going to browse and select it. And all I need to do now is click transcribe. Now if you select options here, you can change again if you decide you want to send to Dragon Pad. So let's give it a go. So I'm now going to select transcribe. So I'll click onto Word.
and I'm going to cancel. So you can see how easy that works. Obviously the better quality you do your recording in, the better quality the device you do the recording in, and obviously the better transcription. Now bear in mind I had that microphone four inches from my mouth when I actually spoke into it. So you can try it using lectures but you're going to get a lot of interference with different noise in lectures and with a different voice it might not work as well. It probably worked quite good with podcasts. I'd say because it's good quality sound. Give it a go with podcasts, important. That might transcribe quite well from another voice. But give it a try. Thanks for watching.